What if I told you you could change your eye color from this to this? Would you take the gamble? What if I told you you can get those same results with ingredients you have in your kitchen cabinet? Ah! 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 Would you still gamble? What it look like TV? I am back. What it do, baby? YouTube's own Varnell Hill. Did you miss me? Your very own spokesperson for the inside people. Oh! And I welcome you to another episode of Love Yourself. Today we're going to get into your eyes. We're going to get into all the crazy things that's going on right now on the, in, in, on the internet surrounding eyes. Woo, that internet almost stumbled me up real fast. I had to slow down. Vanichkin, do you speak English? But anyway, we're getting into the eyes. But before we go any further, let me give a shout out to some of the people going crazy in the comments section. Give y'all some of this love back that y'all been giving to me. But now, let's get into these eyes, man. Look into my eyes, man. As I was online, I came across the eye surgeries. You saw a little sneak peek at that at the beginning. But even more shocking than that, I came across a whole slew of juveniles that actually believe that if they dilute honey with water, put it in the eyedropper and put it in their eyes, it will make their eyes lighter naturally. Do you remember there was a time when people put honey on their eyes to try and change their eye color? Nope. Or was that just gloves out? Did other people do that? I feel like that was like a trend. I mean, people thought they could change their eye color by putting honey on their eyes, but it just ended up not like being bad. What? Why do we do things like that? Well, I'm going to be the wrong person to tell y'all why y'all was doing it when I had no clue that y'all was doing it. Because I've been inside. We inside, y'all. If I would have known, I would have been the first person to tell y'all to stop. And she is not alone, y'all. See, that's one of the dangers in getting your eye medicine recipes from offline, off TikTok. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. She had a slightly different recipe. And her recipe was lemon, honey, and diluted with water. I can't imagine putting any type lemon, diluted or not, in my eye. But there's more children. When I was in fifth grade, I used to watch subliminal videos and I would stare into space to get green eyes. I also put honey in my eyes, thought it would work. This is kind of making me want to try again. Now this one used a combination of honey and subliminal videos. <laughs> I didn't really do too much in, uh, research on the subliminal videos, but somebody was making money hand over fist on YouTube, selling these kids a dream that if you listen to this video long enough, your eyes will change color. And it was a whole bunch of kids that was listening to the videos. So if you was one of those YouTube creators, you a piece of ish, but you probably living in a big mansion right now. Now this is going to be the part of the episode where I admit that I do not have all the information. And while I can say that these juveniles are totally off base by using this honey and mixing up their own concoctions in their kitchens and putting them in their eyes, by no way can I stand by that. But like they say, with all little information on the internet, it's a little truth and it's a lot of false in it. Because it's a lot of people out here that's actually using honey for eye health. Three functions of the Jimmerito honey. So the first one's gonna be that eye detox. 
when you use the Gemarito, just one drop in each eye, it's gonna stimulate your tear ducts. This is gonna make you cry, but what that's really doing is removing toxins and excess mucus from the eyes. And you'll also notice that your sinus cavity begins to drip a little bit because it's breaking up that mucus, and you'll be able to blow your nose and kind of remove that. My man is not alone. It's a lot of people out here using pure honey to fight off all types of eye issues and conditions. Honey and eye treatments. So apparently, if you put honey in your eyes, it improves your vision. I'm gonna do this for a month and I'm gonna see if, if it actually works. This is day three and I'm gonna show you guys the process because it really burns your eyes and it, it makes you tear up. So I don't wanna pay for laser eye surgery. I really, really hope for my man's sake that this honey gives his eyes some improvement because we are at a state in the world today where the technology is there to help people, but people are in their bathrooms putting honey in their eyes because they can't afford the operations. But let's proceed in this video. Boom. Take a, a big chunk of it like that. Put it in your eye bed. Okay. Already burning. Uh, go again. This side. Oh gosh. There. It burns for like two minutes max. And uh, yeah, it's really hard to open your eyes because the honey. Make sure you buy really good quality honey because a lot of it is like. They add sugar and stuff. No good. Let's be pure honey. I reveal. <laughs> this is like day three. I got a whole month. That's one thing that has been consistent across all these videos. Whether it's to try to lighten your eyes or if it's try to get some health benefits out of it. When you put this honey in your eyes, it stinks. It's first time trying the viral eye honey. Ah! 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 Now we got off track a little bit. We got on eye health with honey a little bit. Y'all hit me up in the comments section and let me know if y'all know any more about that. But let's get back into people that's changing their eye color and thinking they can change their eye color. Now you're probably just like me and you're wondering how can they be tricked into thinking that their eyes can change color naturally? It's easy. The power of editing on TikTok. Did you know you can change your eye color naturally? I get what you're thinking right now. This is definitely pseudoscience, but there are actually some facts to it. In reality, everyone actually has blue eyes, but in only 17% of the population you can actually see this. This is because the other 83% of people either has melanin or heavy metals covering their eyes. There are only a few ways you can reduce your melanin in the eye, one of them being keratopigmentation, where a laser burns the melanin off your iris. While melanin is almost impossible to remove naturally, it is not the same case for heavy metals, which can also hide your blue eyes. In following picture, you can see some orange-brownish discoloration in the iris of the eye. These are also known as Kaiser Fleischer rings. These Kaiser Fleischer rings are caused by deposits of copper in the eye, which cause the eye to look more brown. This means that lots of people with brown or green eyes could actually have blue eyes sitting beneath a big layer of heavy metals. And after you watch a couple more of those videos, then you're ready to buy the eye drops thinking that they're going to change the color of your eyes. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. Now, to be fair, none of us has ever put a fancy drop in our eye. So let's refer to somebody that actually went through this process and see their real-time results. So I have been using these crystal eye drops for, for months now. They are eye color changing drops, and I got light green. Also, they changed their name to fancy drops since I've been taking them. December 1st when I started using them. January 1st or one month later. February 7th. March 98. March still. Is anybody seeing any difference so far? 
I'm not seeing anything. Even if she shine a light on her eyes, her eyes aren't looking lighter. But let's continue the process. Maybe we're just jumping the gun. Maybe we're only 90 days in and nothing has happened. 90 days of putting this foreign stuff in our eyes and nothing happened. But she's going to push on. Let's push on. March 98. March still. Currently, if you are interested in my updates, go check out my YouTube face act. I don't know about y'all, but I really didn't see a difference. The difference that I saw seemed like it was more due to the lighting than her actual eyes being lighter. And for you to have gotten the green version, the green edition of them, I didn't see any green at all in your, in your eyes. I didn't even see no brownish. I didn't see anything besides dark brown. But anyway, I'm no professional. Let's see what an actual doctor feels about this. Do these drops really work? Dr. Vicky, ophthalmologist, let's talk about it. So these drops claim they can reduce the melanin or pigment in your eye, thereby changing your eye color. Melanin is also found in your skin and in your hair. So these drops would work just like those products that you put on your skin and your hair to change its color. Nope, I lied. There are no products you can put on your skin or your hair or your eyes that's gonna change the melanin or pigment or the color. Oh! Well, there you go, fresh from a doctor's mouth. The drops are a scam, but I can tell you one thing that isn't a scam, the actual surgery. Hello, come here, all of you, come, it's great. <laughs> Y'all saw that, they took her eyes from dark brown to I don't even know what color that was. But let's see, let's see another example of exactly what they could do with these eye lasers real fast. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Very nice. Let's do it. So you will have to... Open. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It was really good. I just want to thank you all. Thank you so much. I got two 50% off promotional coupons to get your eyes lasered. Anybody that want one, hit me down in the comment section. How many of y'all out there would sign up to go through this process? I believe it's only about five to seven thousand dollars. How many of y'all would actually want to change your change the color of your eyes if you had the opportunity presented to you? But let's talk to the doc once again to find out exactly what this process is and then is it any danger behind this process because to me it has to be some danger behind this one there's a laser that can change your eye color dr vicky ophthalmologist let's talk about this that procedure you just saw is called carado pigmentation which is essentially tattooing color on the surface of your eye or the cornea can i be honest with you up close this doesn't look great just like you can tell someone is wearing a colored contact lens you can tell that the pigment is on the surface of the eye the risk of this procedure includes pain infection scarring inflammation perforation loss of vision or even the eye itself I fuck that shit, bro. this procedure was actually first created to help make blind completely scarred eyes look more normal the fact that people are using this on their perfectly seeing beautiful normal eyes just makes me shudder exactly stupid fucking idea well there you go man this one is starting to drag on we at the 15 minute mark but anyway, the takeaways from this one is keep an eye on your young folks, man. It's a lot of young folks that done tried dropping honey in their eye to try to change their eye color. Let's try to make sure that we kind of spread awareness to the younger people that it's not going to work. Don't even try it. Don't listen to the online stuff. And we didn't see people that was trying to use drops. If you ever come across some drops, the drops are not going to work. You heard it from the doctor. You are fake news. 
And then we even saw people that's willing to get the surgery. If you ask me if you must have different color eyes, go out, get yourself some color contacts and keep it pushing. But to go take one of these drastic, drastic measures to me, you're really, really gambling and playing with some fire. But anyway, also, we saw some holistic stuff in here with the honey in the eye. If you ever tried anything, you know, concerning honey in your eyes, let us know in the comments section. But anyway, like I said, this one has gotten entirely way too long. If you done made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you. And you are my MVP. It was a stone groove, my man. I'm out of here.